going on guys I am back with another how-to video this one's gonna be a little bit longer because I've got a few more things to be doing as you can see I have quite a few different vehicles here I have my truck my harvester my bale loader my baler this is my mower or my grass mower this is my tedder. I've got a wind rower right there. A forage wagon or a loading wagon, a sower, and a cultivator. First things first, I'm going to be using field 26 that I've bought. Quite a big field, as you can see. Not the biggest, but big enough for what I want to do. Today, what I'm going to be doing is grass and hay but first I need to go and kind of harvest this field so I will start that and I will time lapse it Right, so we've now got him going, which is the cultivator, cultivator's going, harvest is going. I've got the sower here, and as you can see on the bottom right corner, you have that weird symbol there. That's what grass looks like on the sower. Right, only certain sowers do certain things, as I said in the basic one basic tutorial which I will put at the end of this video but soon enough this hopefully will be done I gotta let the cultivator get onto a second run so by the time he gets 
down here hopefully again I'll be able to start the sower hopefully by that time the harvester will be on his sixth run but I will just have to cut it straight to a point of finish because this could take a while There we go, after some long tiring processes, the grass is growing, and it's growing ready to be cut, it's nearly finished all the way down there, if, there you go, he's on his last run, so let me, I don't need to do much, there's not, no, there's nothing major in differences that I can show you, just, I know I need to show you a few things. If I hire a worker there, it'll start and it'll be pretty quick at that because of how nice it is. But I need to get another one for that. So that's the Maroff. Here you have the tether. What it does with the tether is, um, it turns it over so it dries quicker. It turns the grass to hay.
No need for a worker, but at the moment, but look. There you go, that's, that's high. Let me actually move out the way and then I'll go and quickly do it myself because I know what I want to do with it. Here we go, that's enough. We've got enough here. Alright, so I'll show you the two easiest things first. Right. So the two easiest things is to get this wind rower. And without doing anything special to the grass, this just puts it in a straight line for you. Look. It is lowered. I'll turn it on. If you look behind me, that's all now in a straight line. In one big clump. Makes it easier for doing other things with it. I'll do two runs of this and show you what you can do with this, just plain grass, a few things.
Actually, no, there's only three things you can do with it. Because one of the other things isn't actually worth it. I thought of. Here we go. I'll need that at a later date. Anyway, that's that. Then what you can do with it is two things. The grass, you can either use this and come up to it and go lower, turn on and pick it straight up. which you need to do because there are a few things that require grass, not straw or hay, like animals. So yeah, that's one way of doing it. has just given me 13,399 grass. I need somewhere to put it. I'll put it over there for now. As you can see, the other grass is growing, but it's not there. This has taken me quite a long time already. I'm trying to be as quick but all as well as efficient as possible. So because you're forced on loading it again, left bumper and right bumper, Y to unload. There you go, you have a pile of grass. And then left bumper, right bumper to start unloading. With the Y. So you can just pick it up in your low loader or you can get your baler unlock unfold it lower it where it is the grass line oh, that's it whoops and past it I think this is it. Nope. Saying it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Where'd I get up to? But anyway, turn it on and it'll pick up the grass. There's a line. And just like it did with the straw bales, when it hits 4,000, it's full, white to unload, and you have your other round bale. There are a few other, th there is one other thing you can do with that bale, which is wrap it, and that turns it into silage, but I'll show you more into that when I do that video.
I'm just going to finish off this line and then that will be the grass done. For what you use grass and hay for, I recommend putting most of it into a bale and only having a little bit set aside, like in a, in a heap, because you use grass and hay for different things, but to be in a compact form, like a bale, helps out quite a lot. So anyway, the tether, like you saw a minute ago, that turns it into that, which is hay. So, lower it. As you can see, that then turns the grass into hay by turning it over so it dries quicker. This ain't gonna take too long so, I'll just leave it. I'm just going to fix a bit on this here. And notice, this is a fact, if you're going to tether it, don't windrow it first because this will just spread it out again. So there's your hay. That is hay. Then to make it a lot easier to pick up, you use wind rower, which like it did last time, came along and put it all in a pile for you in a straight line. So it's a lot easier to pick up. It turns a whole field of grass and hay everywhere into like four or five lines of it. That's a normal size field, this is huge. There you go, that is then the hay line done. Right here. It always tends to be a bit wonky when I do it because I can't get things straight. Same as we could with the grass, you can lower the forage wagon or loading wagon, turn it on, as you can see in the bottom right corner, this one is the grass symbol with a star on the top left of it to show that it's hay and not grass. 
and because I need to show you the other one, I'm not going to pick up much. So that's your hay being picked up. A closer look, that's what it looks like. Doesn't look very pleasant, but anyway, over here, I'll put it over here. This is quite convenient, actually. I didn't place this here, this is just done by the map. Force unloads, so left bumper, right bumper, Y. And again to stop. And there's your hay and your grass. And a pile next to each other. Like I said, you will need it at some point. In the future. But you won't need it in a pile like that. It's where I've messed up on a few games. Same with straw. I've had piles and piles of straw. And it turns out tons, ten times easier if you have it in bales. Because you can just put use the bale to do what you need to do. Because you need it for making food for cows, which I will show you in another day, in another video. But anyway, come up to it, turn it on. No matter what you're using, if you, if you move it onto something else, if you're using a bale and it's got grass in it, if you, if you move it over um, hay, it will just turn to a hay bale. You can't wrap these hay bales. You probably can, but I don't think it's actually worth it. Because then I don't think you can use them again. As hay bales. You can, however, sell them though. At the barn I think yeah there you go the round one bales any kind of bales at the barn grass can be sold at the barn hay can be sold at the barn it doesn't sell for much though that's the whole thing so if you're going to create bales I'd say create it in something you know you're going to use And if you know you're gonna use a lot, just keep creating them. And there you go. That is grass and hay. As you can see, there is quite a big difference. That one's very light, you can see here. Light, come over to a grass one, pretty dark. I'm gonna leave them there, because um, I'll pick up the hay ones actually using the bale loader because the grass ones need to be on the floor for the silage video which will be posted at some point I haven't got the time planned at the moment there we go now with this X to operate in position with left bumper. Let's go find a bale. Hay preferably, we don't need grass. There's one hay. Just drive over it and it loads it straight up. Two. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? He's rolling away! No! I'm back! There you go. You got your hay bales now.
and then left bumper from wide turns it to unload bales take it to where you want to unload it and it's ready A to abort which will just fold it back down like I said in the bale video Y to unload bales there and then again Y to load it to lower the bale loader. and it will fold itself back up Put that back up and place that back here. And there we go. That's it. All of it is done. At last, that took quite a while. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this li if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you have anything you need or questions about something on farming, or you need a tutorial more than anything else, leave a comment down below. I'll show you some more next time. Bye.